Christina Bradfield and I teach ESL at Centennial Junior High and this is my second year teaching ESL. My name is Kim Jones. I am the English Learner Program Facilitator for Natrona County School District. Emily Cadillier, Principal at Park Elementary in Casper, Wyoming. Mike Britt, Principal at Kelly Walsh High School in Casper, Wyoming. I am Jesse Winford. I'm one of the Assistant Principals here at Dean Morgan Middle School in Casper, Wyoming. my first year of teaching. Um, I had a group of second grade students in Greeley, Colorado, most of which were ESL students themselves. And I worked really hard with that group of kiddos. Um, and we did some really great things that year. I can look back and see that there were things that I could have done better. And I always had kind of set a goal for myself that someday I would go get my ESL endorsement. I had a very um, fortunate um, time during my early childhood and adolescence to learn about um, a different language and to have some experiences in different countries. What I learned was that uh, outside of my, my world and my town and my community that there was an incredible amount of learning to be had from experiences within the culture, within the language of different places. I spent about seven years teaching Spanish as a foreign language at the middle and high school level um, and really recognized the both desire and the need for um, students in our community to continue to not only learn a second language but to expand their horizons in terms of all that's out there. I had my first uh, student who did not know English as a kindergarten teacher. It was just a different scenario, um, one that I wasn't familiar with. So as I tried to figure out how I was going to support that student, I just was able to develop a relationship with her family, um, with her over time. Um, to this day, I, we keep in touch. I think it was the relationship piece that really connected me, um, but also wanting to make sure that she and her family had the opportunities that they were seeking. This is my 14th year as an administrator. I've been in education for 28 years. But of my 14 years as an administrator, all of those years have been in schools where um, it is an, has been an ESL school or we've been a hub for many of our EL students. Uh, my ESL students show a ton of perseverance. When you get to chatting with some of these kiddos, their background stories are pretty incredible. When we have students who come in that have um, different backgrounds, different cultural experiences, different language experiences, it only seeks to broaden the horizons of every other student in the school as well. There's a lot of people here that um, want to know more about their family, about their background, about their traditions, um, and about how we can help their student be successful. As, as difficult as it can be to try and communicate with a family or a student that doesn't know English, it makes us better because when we figure it out, we have resources that, and strategies that we didn't know we had before. I hope to help them learn how to persevere. So whether it's that they have, um, they, they're coming to a new country, a new school, a new town, whatever it may be, um, whether they have language needs, academic needs, we want them to know that they can, that they can survive and that they can thrive um, because they know how to ask for help, they know where resources are, um, they know when to ask for help. I want them to feel welcome always and I also want them to feel like um, they've succeeded at something and that they they can do whatever they want. So I really do hope that um, my students in my classroom are able to go on and and have successful lives, um, success in high school and success in jobs and I hope that I'm able to kind of provide them that safe space while they're here. 
over the years working with the Wyoming ESL Conference, I've had the opportunity to be a participant, a breakout session presenter, a featured presenter, and a, a co-chair. It, it provides an opportunity for educators to come together, um, share their experiences, share their expertise, network, make relationships, and know that they have other people around the state that they can reach out to and, and follow up with. So the collaboration between um, Natrona County School District and the University of Wyoming's College of Education, that collaboration um, has just made the conference stronger and better. The relationship that I have had the opportunity to build with Dr. Shim um, has just been one of the greatest joys. She is an expert in the field of ESL and um, we are all privileged to be able to learn from her expertise. Um, she makes me a better person and um, a better educator. More than anything, just her ability to develop high quality relationships with people, our state benefits from her.